Hey everybody, Kenny here. So last time we finished getting all of the party together only to have another kind of minor party split that resulted in essentially us, uh, I guess, soft introducing what's obviously going to be a party member. I mean, there... <laughs> I've played too many RPGs in my life for me not to just immediately assume that's going to be a character that's going to join at some point. But for the time being, we are going to just keep moving forward with uh, moving the plot forward until we can gain access to all the side areas that they keep telling us we can't go to. Although... Actually, I did want to check something before we do that. Oh, did I not? Did I not have everybody learn their skills at the end of that session? Just her? Oh, that's right. Yeah. I'm intentionally not having her learn her next skill yet because I don't know which of the elemental attack against all things we'll really need right now. So I want to hold off until we know what, like, what would, what get us, get us the most bang for a buck at, at this point in the story. I just want to head this way. I'm trying to see if it'll let me go this way. Nope. It will not. And now we know. Fortunately, we can just fast travel back to that spot. Right there. Did I go in here? What's up, cat? Another evil cat. Took the snack. I took your snack. What do you got to say about that? My wife got some delicious coffee today. Would you like to try some? Now I feel bad. Hey there. Look at where you're going. Those mushrooms are worth some money in torment. Okay, so try not to step on the mushrooms. I don't think it's possible. I do not think I can make it to that chest without stepping on some mushrooms. I'm going to try going this way. Okay, so apparently I just stepped on a mushroom. Oh, no, 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 that's right. I forgot that it counts our party members as like, you know, like, like they actually affect the environment as well. So if I want to get that chest and not step on the mushrooms, then I need to, let's see. Let's go and... Nope. Gonna move everybody. Okay. Now let's try. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. Like, when you have the evil cat, like, does that mean that it's reacting specifically to one of the party members? Hmm.
Okay, now there's no way I stepped on a mushroom. Screw you, buddy. Screw you. I did not touch a mushroom. And these are flowers, not mushrooms. A black tippet. Trigger HP regen when under 25% HP. Yeah, I'm wondering if the SOS stuff stacks. Like, you know, like if I was to have three different sources of HP regen, would it only count as a single instance of HP regen? Or would it count as three separate instances of HP regen? So I would gain 15% of my max HP when under 25% three times. I do wonder. I mean, because I'm pretty sure that would be broken if you could, because, you know, you could, you know, you could put H uh, SOS HP regen on your weapon, on your armor. You know, like if, if there's a character who can learn that, which I'm guessing there probably is. Let's see. SOS defense up. So, Rob gets SOS HP regen. So, would... So, like, if we were to put that on Rob, get him this, and put SOS HP regen on his weapon and armor, would we be able to trigger four instances of... Like, would it be like, you know, like he, he'd go from sub-25% to, you know, 60% plus in a single round just from regen if we, you know, if we were to do that. Like, I don't think, I don't think these stack, I doubt they would. Like, that would be bro kind of broken if you could do that, but it is an interesting thought. Like, same with, like, these. Like, like if I had him learn Paralyzed Hit, then also put Paralyzed Hit on his weapon and armor. And if there happens to be a... an accessory that also lets you get Paralyzed Hit. Then would those all stack? Well, since we don't care about the mushrooms, because obviously there is no path you could take where it would count as you not step on the mushrooms. I don't want to I don't feel like going through the effort of re-adding everybody. So I'm just going to do this. Oh, there's another cat over there. That one definitely has red eyes. Hmm. I see. So with cats, it's like a... It's like a coin flip. Like maybe they'll be... Maybe they'll be sweet. Maybe they'll be evil. Because it is the nature of cats. Now, apparently, everything counts as stepping on your mushroom, so I don't care. I know all you want. I uh, can't talk to you anymore?
And we got our first gold nugget. Let's see what gold nuggets got us. Nothing. We got nothing for that. And we still need to find mains. Other stuff for this. That. Still need to beat the yak. Still need a metal frog. Secret metal thing over here. Hey, look at those. How tough are those guys going to be? Wow. Okay. They're weak against Earth. They can both be stolen from and canned. They're called Vins. Okay, so just throw a heal down everybody. Kill this one first. Really? Okay. It's already bleeding. Your Kasagiri. We can rob. Pop and Killian to bring Rob back. Defend. Grab power shot. Here you all. Recall training just to lower that a bit. Yeah, have you defend again? The explosive trap on Glenn. Have Glenn heal all again. Try. As you pilfer, got a beast spell off of him. As you third eye, and your decoy. Earth drums. And 
Koffer again. And Water Thrust. Yeah, pretty sure Dry is for water. Yeah. Hey, we got horns. Cool. And the skill leveled up. Alright, so her fire thrust and wind thrust went up. Yeah, so just those. Yeah, so 194. Yeah, so we can almost go and master Awakened Spirit and Mind Up. So something I've been wanting to check is at 51. That took cost down on the Metal Jerkin. Metal Jerkin gives him the most mind. Put his copus on. I got him a little bit of lined up. So it's not so it's not this way, so it must be that way. Yes, yeah, so we have to go across to check for that treasure. More of those. Yeah, I'm intentionally not going to go that way, so I know for certain that I hadn't gone in there yet.
lose a little bit. I can decoy. No, I can heal. And have Killian to her. And she has her third eye active, so she well. But I didn't have dang it. Oh well. It doesn't matter which of these you use. I mean, it doesn't matter which, but... As long as we don't use the one they're strong against, it's okay. Could use it on someone else. Yeah, back to you. you as a profundo actually I shouldn't have done that I should not have done that okay she still needs two third eye and they're gonna be done with dry by the time well, I guess he'll, his turn will be back around by then. The Paso Profundo. We need to defend. Now you Water Thrust. Okay, that's where I get main from. We get mains from those guys. Yeah, we gotta go all the way around if we wanna get the treasure on that little island. So we just check this corner right here and then we'll... Ooh. So is we're in this area over here, right? Yeah, Fjord Woods, Excalibur. Nope, it's just a gazer. Okay. The Gazer with bonus loot.
Water. Cool. This is going to be violet. Can't steal from it. We're going to armor break. Then paso profundo. And now, water thrust. Or what is probably going to be magnificent damage, because it is weak against water, it has dry on it, it has its defense broken. Yep. That was beautiful. <laughs> okay, so down, up, or this way. Okay, so you climb down from there, but... Oh, we can climb up. How did you actually make it through the Kotar on your own, Sienna? Avoiding danger is my talent. That doesn't seem to have quite worked out so far. Let's call it a run of bad luck. Granted, Gotara, Olivsen with magical abilities helped me. Olivsen, who knows magic? Hmm. A nice amount of money there. Should be here. Pretty sure the thing was there and it pointed up. Maybe it's around that little corner there. Right here. No? Hmm. Let's go mark on the map where the thing is. All the way over here. All right. So. So not where the little turn is, but up in this spot here. Okay. Okay, so somewhere here. Find this here. No. Yep, found it. Attack up. Okay, more foxes. I know they're wolves, but they look like foxes. Yeah, I mean, we've been running into both Wind Week and Earth Week.
However, Belen can force Fire Week on a single target and Victor can force Water Week on a whole group. So the water one actually makes the most sense to get. There we go, Yokogiri. Heal all. Have you avoided of March? Now we'll Yoko do you again. And have her wind thrust this guy. Heal out again. Have you X slash this gun? Now a paso profundo. Kill that one real quick. And she's down. To dry, so three oh one. Pickle Gary. Hello. To a wide swing. Now we'll have her wind thrust. Yeah. So if an enemy has oil dry. Oil dry heavy or wet on them, then that is a larger damage modifier than if they actually have a weakness to that thing. Yeah, so after this combat, I'm definitely going to give Len the uh, the group water one.
All right, so let's get that for her. So you will learn water jump. Now it's raining. This is how you get ants. Yeah, this is obviously a boss arena. And they're funneling us this way, so we can't go around the stumps to get to whoever is ahead of us. So we're going to have to do the boss fight, and then we might be able to make our way around to get to that treasure there. Oh no, we can go this way. Hmm. But how though? Oh, I see. There's a path through the bottom here. Veranda Bolero. So that is for you. Veranda Bolero is... Oh, nice amount of HP. Ten... Seven, twenty... Twenty-two, twenty... Fifteen, eighteen... Thirty... It has the same amount of HP as a Metal Jerkin. Gives as much TP as a Plain Sherp, not as much as a Robe. Defense-wise, it is 18-18. So triple the plain shirt. And five more than the doublet. So we have to go around to get to that one. All right. Now down there, we have to go around this tree here. Another metal jerkin. Yeah, I swear, whoever it was that, like, put the treasure chest, like, put down... Which are like the, like the special treasure chests. Did not consider at all, like the way that the equipment appears in the game. Why do we need to have this many metal jerkins? Why do we need to have this many sturdy akatons? Why do we need this many iron curuses? Like, well, and why is it that? We are able to find the Copus right outside the first town and then also have it that this is a weapon that you can craft. What's the point of that? What, how, how does that help the player? Like if they found this, they're probably going to upgrade it. Why are they going to bother? Like, you know, like why, why bother having players sell stuff to get this as a deal when we got this as literally something we just found sitting on the side of the road at the very start of the game well, not the very start of the game but like as soon as we get we were able to explore a little bit just a little bit we were able to find this just sitting on the side of the road and they gave and they had this as a deal what's the point of that he's the only one who can use this weapon 
Why is it that you would have another one? What good is that to the player? There's nonsense. There's too many little like nonsense things like that with the with the like the loot, or not the loot, the uh like the way that the equipment is handled in this game. Like it's nonsense the way that like it they just kind of like make it feel like like anything the player does like worthless as far as the equipment goes. Oh, you want like you decided to equip this crystal on a weapon? Well, now if you remove it, it's going to make it that it's too big to put on anything else and you like, and you lose all purity on it, so you can't use it for crafting either. Like that isn't balance, that's just Oh, uh should we add systems to these things that don't need systems? Sure, why not? Just add systems for no reason. Like I'm a systems guy. I love all like all the systems. You know, you put systems in something and you put systems on systems on systems, I like it. But when you go and you're like, "Oh, I'm just going to make it that we have this as part of the deal system when it's literally something that you can get and never have a reason to have another one. It's stupid. Absolutely stupid. Can we talk to you guys? I can't talk to you guys. To be clear, I very much am enjoying this game. Like, But I always complain about things like this because... I don't like it when developers go and do things pointlessly. You know, if you want to, like, if you want players to feel like they're being rewarded for exploring, then make the stuff you're giving them for exploring rewarding. Make it that anything that's in the deals you can't find. You should never be able to find the things you get in the deals. You should never get as a deal the things you can find. It's, it's very simple. Step into Torment. Discovered fast travel locations. Sup, Torment? You guys have a lot of night statues just everywhere for some reason. So this is your hometown Torment. Yes, the main capital of Taran, where the rain never ends. Well, it actually ends sometimes, but the days are far and few between. The city is so gloomy, it makes me want to go to a bar and get a drink. Or have a hot bath. Everybody wears ponchos here. This is the city of ponchos. Hey, come with me, fast! Prince Frederick is about to give a speech in front of the palace. I bet it's about the rumors. A speech? Let us go there as well. I'm just gonna, yep. Just auto into... Do you think the rumors are true? Apparently an airship returned from Farnsport with an injured general. I've heard something about an assassination. Do you think Escania planned to betray the treaty? We've been waiting for almost an hour now. Shouldn't we just head straight into the palace? Now that you've said that, here they come. Look at how many people came despite the weather. I can't wait to see their faces when they hear the terrible news. Maybe I should go out down there and get a better look. You're one of those, I see. Well, we'll murder you in due time. Keep your emotions at bay, Lady Elena. Remember your position. <laughs> Strict as always, my dear General Gustav. The same goes for you. The people might get the wrong idea seeing you laughing in the face of such terrible news. All right, all right, General Killjoy. Besides, I think most of them have already heard the terrible rumors. They truly spread fast. This is Frederick? 
Who was the guy we saw before? I guess I wasn't paying attention to his name before. I thought the Fred that Frederick was like the uh like the king or whatever that we saw with the Inquisitors. Have you finished your small talk? Okay, there's a guy with the white hair. Oh, my prince. Then let me have a word now. Citizens of Torment, I come before you with important news. News that weighs heavily upon my heart. I ask you, for how many years have we watched our families and friends being murdered? For how many generations have our homeland been plundered and ravaged? While our enemies were being fed by foreigners, we had to endure hunger and suffering. We may share Valandis with Escania and Gravos, but it is not the same blood that flows in our veins. A year ago, the tide turned. We conquered Windshear and defeated Gravos. Because we all worked together. Because we did not give up. But Gravos, in his devious ways, did not endure this and only killed hundreds of Terran soldiers in explosion, but also sacrificed its own people. Is this what passes as honor in Valandis? Iskania's idea of ethics and morals is no less devious, which is why the decision to sign the peace treaty one year ago was difficult for me. But I did not want any more of our soldiers to die. I did not want our citizens to starve any longer. To this day, I am firmly convinced that it was the right decision. But today, word from Fonsport has reached us. Our chancellor and soldiers have been murdered. During the peace ceremony, Troops from Escania executed Chancellor Edgar and some of our brave soldiers. Only General Mathai could escape and bring us this word. So the rumors are true after all. Can we accept this? No. I have no choice but to take up arms again. The war that I wanted to avoid at all costs will continue. For this, I need your support, people of Terran. I can promise you one thing, though. You will not experience famine or misery anymore, because this war will be ended quickly. With the annexation of Windshear, we acquired the weapon that devastated the area a year ago. You heard correctly, the most powerful weapon in the world is now in our possession. So, it nuked the continent. And was still safe to just take away. Also, the dude in the white hair obviously must be like Glenn and is able to survive shit like that because... He would have been too close by to have survived it. You know, to have gotten away from the explosion. Behold, the Grand Grimoire. Ooh, ah. <laughs> this is the weapon that can destroy an entire city? Terrifying. But it looks so harmless. If it belongs to us, then nobody will mess with us anymore. There it is, Killian. That's the same stone. Yes, this is the Grand Grimoire that, that destroyed Windshear. But contrary to Prince's words, it was not used by Gravos back then. It had always been in Tyrant's possession. What? How do you know that? Why didn't you tell me that you knew about the stone? I know about it, but I don't have any more information than you do. Sorry, Glenn. With this weapon, we can destroy the entire armada with one blow and bring this war to an early end. Rest assured, people of Tyran, this war will end soon and we will be victors. 
Why does the prince show the grimoire in public? Making the people feel assured. And the rumors will probably intimidate the enemies. I... I let's hurry to the palace. I must speak with him. Matthias is a miserable liar. Sir Victor, about the grimoire. Sorry, I... Sorry I didn't mention it earlier. The Grand Grimoire is one of the reasons I'm in Valandis. I'll make it up to you. There's someone I would like you to meet. But first, let's escort the princess safely to the palace. Well then. <laughs> Dear sister, thanks be to fate, you are well. Words can't describe how relieved I am. At last, all those sleepless nights are over. Please tell me, where have you been? I'm sorry, Frederick. It was not my intention to cause you grief. I should be angry. But now that you are back with me, I just can't. Your companions have my deepest gratitude. If it were any other day, I would have arranged a big banquet for your return. But with the war ahead, we must set an example to the citizens. Do not worry. I have had enough of banquets anyway. Frederick, I have an important matter to discuss with you. I was present at the banquet in Farnsport and saw what happened there. It was not the soldiers from Escaño who attacked the men. It was a wild demon. You're not telling us anything new. <laughs> what do you mean? Sir Matha, I told us about it. Where's that guy? Sir Mathai told us about it. His report of the evening was very detailed. General Mathai, why don't you tell it yourself? Mathai. Very well. As the princess explained, there was an attack on the banquet by a demon. But even the strongest beast had no chance in the presence of the best knights of Valandis. The monster was quickly put down. But... The real monster appeared only afterwards. Escania showed his true colors. Chancellor Sigurd had our men and Chancellor Edgar assassinated in the chaos of the attack. Our men were killed by the swords of Escania. I am sure they would have blamed the demon, but I was able to escape and carry the truth to you, my prince. This is a lie. How can you be sure that I am lying with all the confusion that was going on there? Hold your tongue, wretched traitor. Do not trust him. I saw you with my own eyes. You gave the robbers the order to kill Lady Parnella. And that is not the end of it, Lord Brother. After the banquet, I hurried home through Cortara. You know who stood in my way? This man, who even tried to kill me. With all due respect, that is not true. Why do you say that? First you claim that I am lying about the banquet, and now you are trying to slander me? Prince, do not listen to her. She seems confused. You have been away a long time, Celestia. Let us talk later. Really, you are an asshole, good sir. An asshole. Go fuck yourself. It is best if you go to your room now and freshen up. For your companions, I will provide the best rooms in the town and reward them generously tomorrow. This is such shit writing. Really. I mean, don't even bother having this part. Just, you know, just, just have him kill the fucking king... And be done with it. They are like, I hate they, this. This is the shittiest writing when you do when people do stuff like this. They're like, if you want to do he said she said and then have lines like this, then don't bother doing he said she said. Have it be you show up, you know he's he's giving the whole speech thing. You kill the fucking king right there. Then oh upheaval, you know like make it interesting. Don't don't do this. Don't do this. Never do this. Frederick, this is not the time for you to take care of my well-being. This war is based on a lie. I see your point, and I promise we'll talk more about it tomorrow, tonight. But please, get some rest. Please do not ask me to do this again, Prince. It breaks my heart to lie to the princess. And it would break hers if she knew that her brother is well aware that Sir Mathai took care of the Chancellor. Alright, so... You're saying that he he did orchestrate the whole thing. 
So then why the fuck did we do the whole rigmarole at the bridge? What was the point? If that's what this was, what was the fucking point? Why did you try to stop her? Once again, shit writing. Whoever the writer is, is a shit writer. Your truth is more useful than my sister's. You performed your role surprisingly well, General Mathai. Thank you, my prince. One could think my sister's the real liar. If not for the fact that she is the most honest person in Valandis. I agree, Mathai. Step I agree. Mathai, step forward. Prince, remove your armor. My armor? Are my words unclear? I, I don't understand. As you said, my sister is the most honest person in Valandis. When my sister claims that a demon invaded the banquet, it is exactly what happened, right? Yes, as we already know. If my sister tells of a group of dwarves that are st singing an ode to the moon on top of this tower, then there's a group of dwarves standing on the top of this very tower and they're giving away the most beautiful ode to the moon. Prince, when my sister claims you tried to kill her, you actually did try. Wait, please. She just said that to discredit my statements. So my sister's a lie after all. No, I mean, in this case, Prince. Luck seems to be on your side today, General. Normally, I'd have them slit your throat. But since your statements are the foundation of this war, our people would be skeptical if I had explained that you were executed after your return. Yo, like this whole thing. What the fuck is the point of this whole thing? Why do any of this? This is all such pointless drama for no reason. I mean, you literally would... Oh, uh... We're going to have this character murder these characters so that we can go and say we have reason to have this war and then have this guy go and try to stop your group when they try to get here so they can say that, you know, oh, you're, like your brother like knew about this all along and so you have no reason to tell him. But if you try, I'm going to kill you. And then we get here and they have their little back and forth. And he's like, oh, just go away. Yeah, I knew about this all along. You did a good job. But you told but my sister said you tried to kill her. So I'm going to kill you now. Like, oh, but what? You're right. You know, like uh, this is all like, you, like you, know, you made it that we got a, were able to get the, our war going. So it's cool. You know, what, what is this? What is any of this? What's the point? What is the point of this? This serves nothing. This serves nothing. There is no point to any of the things that have been said since we got here. This is one of the dumbest plot threads I've ever seen in a game. I mean, you have the fucking weapon. That's the guy who made sure the weapon was there in order to kill all the people who were on the battlefield with Glenn that day. You know, obviously, he's the guy who we're, you know, like you know, the white-haired dude is the one that we need to be, like, seeing what's going on with. So why are we doing all of this? You know, have have a scene where the white-haired guy just kills all of them and is able to, you know, just just be like, all right, you know, like now we've got all the trash out of the way. Now, like our divine people or whatever the fuck we are that make it that we're able to talk to the doors and. Yeah, survive the blast of the grimoires are able to I mean I don't know what the goal is here but you know, our, like obviously this guy is here in order to provide the grimoire in order to advance his own purposes and make everyone else think that he's advancing theirs so what's the point of these scenes here we don't need to know any of this none of this is valuable for, to us as the player I'm sorry, please. I meant no harm to Terran. But the people will most certainly be skeptical. When I tell them that General Mathai came back from this bloody banquet with only one arm and one eye. No. No. Yeah, so now, like, now I'm pretty sure Mathai is even going to become a party member of ours.
One-eyed Matho. Sir Victor, Sir Victor said he'll bring someone who can tell me more about the grimoire. But it has been an hour already. Tinny and Killian went to the city. Robin and Len stayed at the castle. I'm too nervous to wait here. Maybe I should take a look around the city as well. Now let's look. Oh, inventory. Here we go. Weapons. So spears, bows, rapiers. What's remaining are guns. Gun spears. Knuckles. Anchors and cards. So if one-eyed math eye is one of our party members, he definitely won't be the knuckles because he won't have a second arm. We might have the gun spear. No, but gun spear is probably like if the captain survives somehow. And Gunspear is probably him, because he had that big cannon thing. Yeah, or he's guns. He's going to be guns or Gunspears. And someone else will be Knuckle, Anchor, and Cards. What's up? There's nothing better than sitting here, reading a book and drinking a cup of hot tea while the rain falls against the window. One of those, huh? Hey, finally got a, sick, a second sacred water. Can go get that thing now. Kitty cat. Yeah, so it's not, so you can't tell from the eyes. It's just random. If I was to scratch it again, it'd probably be mad at me. And these two aren't talking, so downstairs. Nothing to steal from here. What's up, people? They say Escania is like a par yeah. They say Escania is like the party. But when it comes to drinking, nobody can beat us. Pickled onions with lots of sugar. The one liquor is this the one liquor is the hit in Taran. You guys are weird. Another shot of onion decor. Disgusting. <laughs> the constant rainfall and the dark atmosphere take its toll on our spirits. We in Tormund are considered to be particularly melancholic. Hmm. So we have two choices. We can go left or right. Or maybe they'll somehow lead to the same area. Hmm. Let's go to the middle and down to see what's over there. The stream of water in Tormund is... Unremitting. You could use the energy to run engines. Believe it or not, I've already applied for a patent. But thanks to the constant war, I haven't been able to start with production yet. Okay. Where's the water go, though? I mean, because you must be using the water in some way. What's up, cat?
Yeah, so far we've been lucky with the cats. My son wants to study, but the taxes are too high. We can't possibly save enough money. Only the war would end. Hi there. They say the rain is the tears of the gods who pity us. They say weird stuff, don't they? Another shimmering garb. Okay. Why is it that it counts this one, but doesn't count the one on the other side? Did they not finish these? I said down and around this way. Why do you have your carpets like this? Why would you put a carpet partway under two different shelving systems instead of like right in front of the doorway here? People don't do that. <laughs> and you have this one here. Nobody uses carpets this way. 